Welcome back viewers. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of spine health and uncovering groundbreaking research that could change everything you thought you knew about back pain. For years, misconceptions about back pain have plagued our understanding of this debilitating issue. But fear not, as the latest analysis, carried out by a team of leading experts, is here to shatter these myths once and for all. The revelations in this study are so powerful that they may revolutionize how we approach back pain treatment, prevention, and overall spine health. Join us in this eye-opening journey as we dissect the research, speak with the experts, and confront the stark reality of this potential crisis. Whether you suffer from back pain or know someone who does, this information could be life-changing. So, don't miss this exclusive, thought-provoking video that is set to challenge everything we thought we knew about back pain and pave the way for a healthier future. Subscribe now and hit the notification bell, so you won't miss our upcoming video that will change the way you think about your spine health forever. Remember to like, share, and spread the word. Together, we can face this looming crisis head-on and make a difference. Looking to take your fitness journey to the next level? Look no further. Introducing BulkSupplements.com, your ultimate destination for premium quality supplements at unbeatable prices. From bodybuilders to health enthusiasts, BulkSupplements.com has been trusted by thousands to deliver top-notch products that support your fitness goals. With fast shipping and hassle-free returns, getting your hands on the supplements you need has never been easier. Plus, our responsive customer support team is always here to assist you on your journey. Join the BulkSupplements.com community today and experience the difference. Get ready to elevate your fitness game and unleash your full potential. Don't miss out on exclusive offers and promotions. Visit BulkSupplements.com now and take the first step towards a healthier, stronger, and happier you. Use my personal link in the description section and the discount word at checkout and save 5% on your first order. Disclaimer. This video's and description's links may contain affiliate links. That means I might get paid a commission, at no additional cost to you, if you click on one of the links and buy something. It doesn't cost you anything extra but it helps us to continue making quality medical videos for you. Thank you. A examination of data spanning more than three decades shows that low back pain cases are on the rise, with estimates suggesting that by 2050, the ailment would afflict as many as 843 million people worldwide. Population growth and aging populations are the main causes of this increase. Researchers are concerned about the lack of a standardized protocol for treating back pain as well as the inadequate therapeutic options available. They worry that it might lead to a healthcare catastrophe because low back pain is the leading cause of disability worldwide. By 2050, there will be a nearly 50% increase in cases in Australia. Back pain instances are expected to change geographically, with Asia and Africa experiencing the largest increases. The results were just reported in the new Global Burden of Disease GBD, 2021 research in the Lancet Rheumatology. Our data shows that the number of people suffering from low back pain is rising globally, placing a tremendous burden on our healthcare system. According to lead author Professor Manuela Ferreira of Sydney Musculoskeletal Health, a project of the University of Sydney, Sydney Local Health District, and Northern Sydney Local Health District, we need to establish a national, consistent approach to managing low back pain that is informed by research. At the moment, our approach to back pain has been reactive. According to Professor Ferreira, who is located at Sydney's Colling Institute, Australia is a global leader in back pain research. We can be proactive and lead by example on back pain prevention. The study identifies a number of turning points in back pain situations. Since 2017, there have been more than half a billion cases of low back pain worldwide. There will be 619 million cases of back discomfort worldwide in 2020. At least one-third of the back pain-related disability burden could be attributed to occupational factors, smoking, and obesity. It's a common misperception that adults who are working age are particularly susceptible to low back discomfort. 
However, experts claim that this study has proven that elderly persons are more likely to experience low back pain. Females were more likely than males to experience low back pain. This is the most complete and current data that is currently available, and it is the first to incorporate both global projections and the contribution of GBD risk variables to low back pain. The work was made possible by the combined efforts of the University of Sydney, the Global Alliance for Musculoskeletal Health GMUSC.com, the Institute for Health Metrics and Evaluation IHME, at the University of Washington School of Medicine, HealthData.org, and IHME's international collaborators. We are also aware that the majority of the data are from high-income nations, making it occasionally challenging to interpret the findings for low- to mid-income nations. Senior author Professor Lynn March from Sydney Musculoskeletal Health and the Kohling Institute remarked, We urgently need more population-based back pain and musculoskeletal data from nations of low- to mid-income. In order to map the distribution of back pain cases through time, the study collected GBD data from 1990 to 2020 from more than 204 countries and territories. The GBD is the first study to be utilized for projecting the future prevalence of back pain cases and provides the most complete picture of mortality and disability across nations, time, and age. Health systems must respond to the massive and growing burden of low back pain that is plaguing individuals worldwide. There are effective ways to help people in pain, so much more needs to be done to prevent low back pain and ensure timely access to care, according to Professor Anthony Wolfe, co-chair of the Global Alliance for Musculoskeletal Health, which is urging that the growing burden of musculoskeletal conditions be given priority. The significant prevalence of musculoskeletal diseases, including low back pain, cannot be ignored any longer by health ministries. These conditions have significant social and economic ramifications, especially when you take the price of care into account. Dr. Alarco Cieza, Unit Head, World Health Organization, Headquarters, Geneva, remarked, Now is the time to learn about effective strategies to address the high burden and to act. The foundation for preventing back discomfort will be national guidelines. In 2018, experts, unrelated to this study, expressed their worries and provided advice in The Lancet. In particular, with regard to exercise and education, there is a need for a shift in world policy regarding the best ways to manage and prevent low back pain in order to avoid the spread of ineffective treatments. However, not much has changed since then. Commonly prescribed treatments for low back pain, such as various procedures and painkillers, have been found to be ineffective or to have questionable effectiveness. According to Professor Ferreira, the healthcare system needs to adjust because there is inconsistency in how doctors handle cases of back pain. Some people might be surprised to learn that the current professional guidelines for the treatment and management of back pain don't include any suggestions specifically for the elderly. Compared to younger persons, older people have more complicated medical histories and are more likely to be prescribed heavy medications, such as opioids for the treatment of back pain. However, given that these analgesics may interact with their other current medications, this is not ideal and may have a detrimental effect on their function and quality of life. This is but one illustration of the necessity to update clinical guidelines to assist medical practitioners. Co-author Dr. Katie DeLuca from CQ University said low back discomfort can become a precursor to chronic health concerns if the proper steps are not taken including severe impairment, invasive medical treatments, mental health issues, cardiovascular disease, and diabetes. Low back pain is still the leading source of disability burden in the world. This illness has significant socioeconomic repercussions and its physical and individual effects directly jeopardize healthy aging. Thank you so much for joining me on this journey to explore back pain and learn effective ways to manage and prevent it. Remember, our bodies are precious, and taking care of our backs is essential for living a healthy and fulfilling life. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family who might benefit from this information. Also, consider subscribing to this channel to stay updated on more valuable content about health and wellness.
While the tips and exercises I've shared can be beneficial, it's crucial to consult a healthcare professional if you're experiencing severe or persistent back pain. They can provide personalized advice and treatment options based on your specific needs. Always remember to listen to your body, practice good posture, stay active, and incorporate these techniques into your daily routine. Small, consistent steps can make a big difference in maintaining a strong and pain-free back. If you have any questions or additional tips you'd like to share, please leave them in the comments below. I love hearing from you and engaging with the community to create a supportive space for everyone's well-being. Thank you again for watching, and until next time, take care of your back and take care of yourself. Stay healthy, stay happy, and keep shining bright. Goodbye.